This is the Navigator's TMS BPAC, Proclaim Christ. I think at this point, to truly proclaim the glory of the Son, we must understand just what we've done. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. All of us. No one is exempt. The self-edifying path is our instinct to attempt. We all, like sheep, have gone astray. Each of us has turned to our own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. But to understand the fall, we also must know how bad sin is. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. The enemy tells us our bad behavior can be ignored. But just as people are destined to die once, and after that to face judgment, we all became wretched men obsessed with sin. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. And now we can stand before the heavenly host, for Christ also suffered once for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous, to bring you to God. He was put to death in the body, but made alive in the spirit. So it is also the case that Christ took our place, for it is by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not by works so that no one can boast. Then when the kindness and love of God our Savior appeared, he saved us, not because of the righteous things we had done, but because of his mercy. He saved us by the washing of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit. And still there are some who don't believe. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who did believe in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. The Son of God won't stop at no or no answer. He'll persist in saying, Here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with that person and they with me. He died for us so we'd know we're free. I write these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God so that you may know you have eternal life. Eternal life begins with accepting Christ. Very truly, I tell you, whoever hears my words and believes in him who sent me has eternal life and will not be judged, but is crossed over from death to life.